Tulsa, Oklahoma, home to the Tulsa Golden Hurricane and Skelly Field, where the fans have gathered and they are ready to see those Hurricanes gather some strength. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see, the Army Black Knights taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. So we'll kick off and we'll get this game started. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Cadets' offense will get the first possession of the game. And this guy feels like a throwback. Back in the day, the running backs were always the stars. This guy fits that mold. And he can do a lot of different things, too. He's not a one-trick pony. This guy can tote the rock. He can catch the ball. He can block. We might even see him throw the ball in this game. This is a jack-of-all-trades. The back goes in motion. Gonna run it. It's Stewart. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game. And they're starting to bring some noise here on this early third and ten. Using his feet to buy time. Breaks a tackle and he's got room. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one and it'll be a first down. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback, a quarterback doing that to your defense. <laughs> And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Offense working from the pistol. He'll do it himself. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. They're facing a third down. The give to the fullback. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. The Black Knights are marching down the field. He'll pull it on the read. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They'll line up for a second down play. Here comes the option. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long, coming up. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. To throw, it's Bolden. Pressure coming. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. And they didn't have to blitz. They brought in the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover in the back end, and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. And the Black Knights will punt it away on fourth down. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. So the Tulsa Golden Hurricane offense comes out, and they'll take over for the first time in this one. Bunch formation for these receivers. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Got his man quickly. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Leaves it with the running back. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Might as well give it to him again. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for room. It's Watkins. And he's brought down, but a flag is also down. Illegal block on the back. Offense. Offense. 
The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The give from the gun. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Here on third down for this offense. Williams looking for a man. Quarterback extends the play. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. Tulsa will be forced to send out the punt team. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. First down here for the offense. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Got stuffed on first down. Now it's second and ten from their own 20. Leaves it with the back. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw. Coming after it. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. The Black Knights will send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Fair catch called for and made. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. The give to the tailback. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. Tulsa wasting no time. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense. Caught in the backfield, it's Ballard. Tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. From the gun, wants to pass. Gets away from one. He's going to take off. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right hatch. He splits the get right and puts three on the board. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Goes to the option. Now the pitch. Nice move to stay on his feet. They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. That's the end of the period, and Tulsa has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. They'll ride the hot hand. Breaks the tackle. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Now on the option. 
slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And the Black Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Second down coming up. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To the air, it's Bolden. Using his legs to buy some time. Those defenses were smelling blood, and the quarterback got down. Smart move. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. What a disappointment. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Trying to escape and get it himself. At midfield, he's got room. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane open or you don't sack him right away, you allow him to get outside the pocket, he is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. They go right back to it. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Dances away to buy time. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Tulsa seems to have the whole playbook working. Trying to get the corner. Headed to the end zone. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Golden Hurricane. Anytime you've got a successful run play on the ground, you've got to have great blocking up front. The offensive line, receivers, everybody doing their job. And that helped lead to the home run. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Air Force is delivering an all-out assault offensively today, hanging points all over the wild blue yonder. They're up 14 over Navy. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves him with second and four. Looking to throw, it's Bolden. It's complete on the right side. Brought down at the 47, but not before he ripped off 15. 
The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. On the option. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. And here comes the offense on second down. Second down. He'll ride his man on the option. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. Trying to pick up a first down. Running back goes in motion. On the option. Tough, hard-nosed running. He got three, but he needed four. It's fourth down and one. The Black Knights decide to punt it away. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll park it around the 10. Looking for room. It's Watkins. Finds a little bit of room. Picks up four out to the 13. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Brings up second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Running to Green. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Tulsa wasting no time. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. Snagged in the middle, it's Benjamin. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Forced out of the pocket. They bring him down, but not before he gets just enough to move the chain. Delsa comes to the line with the first and ten. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Presley. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Now improvising. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Looking to go up top on first down. Buys a little time. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. And now on second down for this offense. Williams will pass. He's got an open man. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Down from the 13-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Let's it fly. And he can't find his man in the end zone as he was trying to pay off this red zone chance. This offense has a second down play. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. They'll run the screen. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. Splits the upright, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. He'll come out throwing on first down. A little screen to the running back. Up near the 40-yard line, they'll mark it at the 39, a pickup of 15. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. 
Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. Shoots it to the left. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Dropping back, it's Bolden. Getting some heat. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. And they needed a little more room to work with as that one sails out of bounds. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He's going to fire deep. Catch in stride inside the 15. A little excitement there to wrap up the first half, and that'll pad the stats as we go to the break. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters today from gorgeous Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the pack. And with that, let's head back to the guys inside H.A. Chapman Stadium. And the Black Knights will kick it off to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. A disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're, you're leading on the scoreboard. He lobs one high down the left side. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. On the ground, it's Jackson. On the move at the 30. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Tulsa wasting no time. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big game. i got to make sure I shut this down next time they run. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Bulls his way forward. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this. And he can't escape, and down he goes. How frustrating for an offense to not only see the extra defensive back with the dime package, but still have their quarterback get hit. Yeah, and when you go down, this is a passing situation. And if you're a defensive lineman, I'm pinning my ears back. I'm not playing the slightest bit of run. I don't care if they run the football. Number I'm getting to the quarterback. Nice job understanding that, rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Now on the return. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. They'll run the option. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Crosses the 45. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They go to the draw. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Black Knights come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Brings up second down. 
They get him stopped 26, but not before he picks up five yards. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They can really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and 10. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Black Knights line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll run the option. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. You can't afford to squander these opportunities once you get into the red zone. Twice they've been denied. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Bounced right back to them. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. Doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit, you cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. North Carolina was able to finish off a close one in Chapel Hill. They did just enough both offensively and defensively to come away with the dub. Hey, survive and advance. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Second and ten after the previous play. Williams looking for a man. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. All right, this quarterback is going to have to start playing with a clock going off in his head. He knows he cannot hold on to the football too long with players like that getting after him. Tulsa will be forced to send out the punt team. He'll try to really get into this one. He will not make a fair catch. Feel the punt and bring it back. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. It's so hard to force fumbles. And when you do, you so badly want to get them. You're crawling. You're doing whatever you can to get there as a defender. But the offense fortunate enough to cover it back up. Second down after the offense averted absolute disaster. On the option. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Off the play fake. Feeling some heat. Going to try to get it himself. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. The Black Knights send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And that one will bounce and roll out of bounds. Let's see exactly where they mark it. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. 
caught behind the line. It's Watkins. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Now on second down. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This defense has kept him backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Now he's going to break the pocket. Open space at the 25. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much lift. And it's slipped out. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Hey, you know what's really easy? It's easy to say, hey, quarterback, run out there, pitch off of that guy, and now your running back gets to go play one-on-one -on -one with somebody else. It's got to all work timing-wise, and the defense did a great job flying up, nowhere to go, make the play, make them make a quick decision, and you get the fumble and recover it in the backfield. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. That's the end of the period, and Tulsa has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And the quarterback is snowed under. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. And the Black Knights will call on their punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. This time, they need to take care of the ball and maybe extend this lead, David. And I think you got to look at the positive, Reese. You still got the lead. Now take care of the football. Put a nice drive together, Jesse. You don't have to stress. We're still winning. I feel like they think that player for player, they're the better unit on the field right now. They just got to make more plays. Grab behind the line. It's Ballard. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Wimbledon running game on first down. Now back at it. Now the play fake. Here he goes breaking the pocket. He gets the job done. Picking up the first down. Then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Looking for the end zone. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. Got it in the middle, it's Hall. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. It's complete to the right. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Tulsa now has it in the red zone. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Defense there to stop him after a pickup of two down to the 15. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Out of the gun to give to the back. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They'll try the run. 
And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. It's good. Easy call for the ref. And that lead grows even bigger. Putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. The option look. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Looking to pass. It's Bolden. Might be looking to run. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Black Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They give to the big fullback. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Kept it on the ground on first down. See if they stick with that plan on second. He's looking to throw. Moves around to clear up the vision. He'll try to do it himself. At the 45 on his way. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He's going to run it. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. These guys aren't human anymore. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. Nice job to keep it himself. Find the first down marker and move the change for this offense. They'll throw it on first down. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He caught it! They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. Back to pass. It's Bolden. That pass not close as he got thrilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Hand off to the fullback. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Black Knights! Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, gets you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they could lose this ball game. Two-point conversion attempt is on the way. He'll set up to throw. Using the quick game. He's not quite going to get there, and the try for two fails, and they are unable to cut into this lead any further. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. 
He smashes his way through again. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. Still on his feet at the 45. And he's running in the open. Pass the 10. Touchdown, Tulsa! And once he found open space, the fans might as well start playing. As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. Yeah, that's a nice job by this offense. Nice job putting a drive together late. This might seal this football game. And nice response. It's nice to be home. And come back to the home crowd after you've lost a couple games. Get some mojo going back in your way. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Air Force has put on a majestic performance today, jumping out to an early lead and building on it from there. And now we have ourselves a blowout. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. They're up by 15 over Navy. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Looking to throw, it's Bolden. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They're bringing heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete. And that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. It's a great play there by the defense, stopping that run. But now with less than a minute to go, you've got to use your timeout. You've got to try and conserve as much clock as possible to give yourself a chance to win. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. Plows through the defense. And how much running room have they been able to find on the ground? Man, are they piling up some gaudy rushing stats. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. He will take a knee, and the defense can stop the clock one more time, but this one is just about in the books. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just didn't work, and that seemed to be the case here. Yeah, they, they didn't get the W. They didn't do enough. Uh, but now you start to think about what could I have done differently? What do I need to become more offensively? Defensively, what can I morph into to make those extra plays, Jesse? That might be the difference in the next game that I play. Yeah, David, they just need a little bit more. They need a little bit better effort next week. They're going to need better preparation practice there's no doubt this team has a lot of talent but we just need a little bit more to ensure that this doesn't happen next week and that's going to do it for us from here for jesse palmer david pollock i'm reese davis and this has been another presentation of ea sports college football